What's up developers, it's Dari here and welcome back to a new video where we're going to cover the filter method in Laravel, which is a very useful method when you want to manipulate collections of data in a more efficient and elegant way. Let's first define a new variable named collection and let's set it equal to the collect methods. We're going to pass in an array right here with four integer values. So let's say one, two, three, and four. Let's use our collection variable and let's chain the filter method to it. Once we perform our request, you'll see that it pretty much printed out a collection of our four items. Nothing special because it has nothing to filter out. A pretty interesting fact about the filter method is that it removes empty values by default. And that's because they are considered falsely in PHP. So what empty methods do we have? Well, let's define them inside our collection. We have a empty string. We have null. We have false. We have zero. And we have an empty array. Once we perform our request again, you will see that all elements that are empty are evaluated to false and have been excluded from the filter method. You can also once again see that besides removing empty elements, nothing special has happened. And that's because the filter method does not actually perform any filtering until a closure function is passed in as an argument. To do that, we need to basically say, well, function, parentheses, curly braces, and hit enter. So we also need to pass in an argument in the closure right here, which will represent each element of the collection. So let's pass in value. Now this is obviously required because the function needs to indicate whether or not each element of the collection should be included in the filtered list. The closure function returns true or false, depending on whether the element should be included in the filtered collection. So inside the filter method, we need to return something. And that something will be a value that is greater than two. Once we perform our request, you will see that it has returned a new collection with key value pairs where the keys are the collection keys and the values are the collection values. But one thing that I'm noticing right here is that it has added the empty array. And this is happening because it's not an empty value like an empty string, null, false, or zero. Therefore, it evaluates the true when compared to two and is not filtered out. Now, like I've just said, it adds keys as well right here, which are equal to the keys that you have in your default collection. But this also means that we could even access the keys. And this can be done by passing in a second argument inside the closure function of key. Then inside our return statement, we can add a double ampersand and say, well, the key needs to be less than seven as well. Once we perform our request, you will see that it has removed our array because the key of our array was equal to eight. So you might wonder what the biggest difference is between the filter and the where method, because the functionality we added right here could also be performed with the where method. The filter method returns a new collection with only the elements that pass a given truth test, while the where method filters the collection by a given key value pair. In other words, the filter method is more flexible and can be used to filter a collection based on any condition, while the where method is more specific and is used to filter by a specific key value pair. Now let's remove what we have done right here and let's have a look at a more advanced example. Let's say that we have a new variable named articles and we're gonna use our article model, the where method, and we're gonna get the count. And what we're going to do inside our where method is basically retrieving all articles that are published. So let's say is underscore published is equal to true. Now once we perform our request, it simply returns 44 rows. So this works fine. So let's replace the count method with the get method. And since eloquent returns a collection, I want to use my articles variable and I want to chain the filter method to it. So let's pass in a closure function. So function parentheses curly braces. We're gonna add an argument of article. Then inside our filter function, we're gonna return the article where the minutes to read is greater than eight. Once we perform our request, you'll see that we have retrieved a collection where the minutes to read is greater than eight. So like I've said before, the filter method is very useful when you need to extract a subset of elements from a collection that meets a specific criteria. So quick summary, we covered the filter method in Laravel collections, which is used to extract a subset of elements from a collection that meet a specific criteria. The method removes empty values by default, but does not actually perform any filtering until a closure function is passed as an argument. The closure function returns true or false depending on whether the element should be included in the filter collection. 
in the next tutorial, we're going to cover the inverse of the filter method, which is the reject method. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.